Hey guys, Billy Gangsta here, bringing you episode number four of the Bioshock Infinite Let's Play. And I am still excited in my pants for this game. So let's get back, right back into it. I feel like I'm just going to start, I'm just going to leave my Xbox on throughout the entirety of this entire Let's Play. Throughout the entirety of this entire Let's Play. Redundancy is redundant, um, but I hopefully won't do that because my Xbox will die because it's, I, I got it, what, 2007? So it would red ring within like a day, so let's not do that and uh, let's continue on with the game here. Just finished uh, murdering a bunch more people here at the uh, great city of Columbia. Monument Island. That's where I'm going, that's where I'm headed right there. Alrighty, continue onward. Having a lot of redundancy, continue onward. Redundancy is going to be the uh, theme of this episode. Give me all your shit. Well, it seems that pistol ammo will not be scarce in this game, since I've been full on pistol ammo the entire time. Sure, we don't miss anything. Fucking French bread. Can't miss that. Alrighty, let's go inside. What? Leave area? I guess just switch jobs? Okay, whatever. Oh, in case you... That's, that's an interesting mechanic. I guess it's in case you clicked on it accidentally and you didn't want to go in there. You could hit cancel. Interesting. Was that Joplin? I believe it was. Okay, so that's the door we came in right there. That was disorienting because it started me, started me facing this way. And usually when you enter somewhere, the door is behind you. But that's not the case this time. That's the door we came in. We are in the blue ribbon. We got first place. A look back at opening day. 1893, the dream of the prophet is finally aloft. Columbia begins her journey to spread America's vision to the world. Is it really necessary to have subtitles here? Like, I don't get it. Why would they have... Fink MFG. Alrighty. Next! The prophet stands up to foes with it. Why am I talking like Bane? 1901, the Chinese boxers take hostage American innocence. Oh no! The prophet and Columbia stand up for America. What thank does Columbia Washington come to stand down? We stand behind the prophet! So Washington told this guy to stand down. Back in the day. Back in the day when he was alive. Washington was like, hey, cut it the fuck out. Whatever you're doing, it's bad. Stop it. And he was like, no. You are my Jesus and I will worship you and do what I want. That sounds great. So I guess we know who the villain is in this game. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna go ahead. You just uh, don't come up behind me while I, uh, while I look in this, what is it? Connect Kinetoscope? You just go ahead and uh, keep wiping that counter down, and uh, don't rape me in the ass. We secede from the so-called Union. 1902, a cowardly American recalls her finest city. No thanks, says the prophet, we're fine on our own. Columbia secedes from Union and disappears into clouds. Well? Hmm. I recently found out on Reddit today that Washington State was originally going to be called Columbia, but would be confused with the District of Columbia, so they named it Washington, which is still confusing, so it's all fucked up. Um, but I'm, I guess that's why they named this city Columbia, is because of the District of Columbia and all that shit, it's how it's uh, related to the United States of America. 
It would kind of suck to be a foreigner playing this game. Or not necessarily a foreigner, but just someone from a different country. Because uh, you wouldn't pick up on a lot of these uh, American symbolism, American symbolism and uh, representations. Like some people might, might not even know who Benjamin Franklin is. Because why would they? Why are you following me? We were already here. Why are you following oh, us? I... A pair of teeth. Pair of teeth? I don't know what that is. It's French. And I know. Oh, shit. Don't mind me. Let me just go ahead and loot everything real quick while you stand there with an upper teeth. Erper chief. In your hands on a tray, and uh, yeah, I'll deal with you later. Something's gonna happen when I take this aperitif. You'll find that handy. The difference between life and death. Shield upgrade. Okay. Surprising. Surprising that it worked. Surprising that it didn't kill him. But a magnetic repulsive field around one's body can come in handy. If it doesn't kill you. A fair point. Okay, these are immediately my two favorite characters already. They're just fucking amazing. Oh my god. They're, they're somewhat terrifying, but also greater. The, the, their sense of awesomeness is greater than their scariness. Are they gone? Nope. Oh they got Ugh <laughs> Just waiting for them to disappear. Oh they got Ugh, they're still there. Comstock called on me today to write his biograph. Me. The man pays for exactly 100 pages in advance. Now I'm half a Jew when I smell silver, so I say I say, Father, your flock would pay for a thousand. You know, why settle for less? And then the prophet looks to me and says, 100 will suffice as I know how it ends. I just got the biggest Heath Ledger Joker vibe from that guy. Like the crackling in the, in the audio from The Dark Knight. It's all part of the plan. I'm an agent of chaos. Okay, I'm done. Um, I'm actually probably not done quoting The Dark Knight because that's the, like the best movie in the history of uh, everything. Um, that's actually the best thing in the history of everything. Like, in all things, The Dark Knight with Heath Ledger, the best thing ever. So, there you go. Look forward to some more quotes. Not that my Joker impression is any good, but it's a good movie. Um, I'm going to go back and see if they're gone. I bet you, uh, my left testicle left the gun. Shit! Oh, man! What happened? I really needed that testicle, too. Oh, I needed that testicle. Oh, fuck. Okay, I guess I gotta, I gotta give it to you. I, 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 I mean, a bargain is a, a deal is a deal. I almost said a bargain is a bargain. That's not a bargain. I mean, I guess it is for you. You get one free testicle. Fuck. All right, where are we going? Uh, what? What's going on? I don't know where to go. Did that work? Did it do anything? See, this is where it would be like, hey, you have to, the, the, the helpful hints, it would be like, hey, you have to shove your gun up your ass and pull the trigger. And I'm like, oh, I didn't want you to tell me that. No. But since I turned it off, it's not telling me to do that. I feel like I have to throw a fireball somewhere. I'm also thinking I have to jump off onto this thing. Doesn't look like a great idea, though. I've had better ideas. Oh. If I could hook onto them with this skyhook. Interesting. Oh my god, this guy can jump like a fucking lemur. Good lord. Uh, 
Okay, let's keep going. Fucking spider monkey. Is that a bad guy? Oh my god, we're a fucking assassin. Oh man, this is like a mix of Assassin's Creed and everything else that's awesome. Oh, coolest machine gun ever. How do I switch weapons? Ah, RB. Okay. Let's see if I can, uh... Get over here. Oh, wrong button. Sorry, buddy. Uh, uh. Okay, you're dead. I really need to get used to these fucking controls. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god, I'm out. Fuck. Stop, stop, stop. Sprint. Run. Salt. Salt. Give me salt. What the fuck? Who's shooting me? Somebody behind me? Blow it up! I can shoot it. Okay, never mind. I'm a fucking idiot. The shield recharges. It's like fucking Halo and Assassin's Creed. And everything else that's awesome. It's the best game ever! By that logic, I guess. It's not really logical, though, so. Oh, headshot. gonna halt? Why, who would tell me to halt after I just murdered everyone? Like, oh, stop in the name of the law. You won't kill me. I have a hat. You know what? Fuck your face. <laughs> you know what? Fuck your face. Now you're on fire. Oh my god! I'm just tanking everything. Machine gun time. Tank it. Tank it. Die. I like how quick the uh, weapon switch is. Where is this asshole that's talking? Die. Am I full on money? No. Sounds like a woman. Fuck your face. You're dead. I'm just massacring these people. I should I should be playing on hard. I just bounced off the top of my head. <laughs> oh, that was a headshot. That should be an achievement. Hit him in the head from a certain range. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. If I could get on that boat, that would be kind of cool. I say boat, it's flying. Let's go around this way, see if we can get on it. Here's that we can. What do we got? What do we got? Nothing. Not a damn thing. You're dead. Everyone stay calm and lock your doors if you can. The prophet was saw this day would come, and he is prepared. The answer is not in panic, but in prayer. 
Yeah, lock your doors and pray that the guy with fireballs that comes out of his hand doesn't know how doors work. Is that a person? Nope. Looks like I'm going in there. Is this money? <laughs> I'm just like the ultimate fucking delinquent. I am delinquent. <laughs> You're such a delinquent for murdering all those people, you naughty boy. I'm gonna give you a whooping. That was the wrong word choice. I am the ultimate criminal. That's a better word. Just stealing everybody's food and money and then murdering them. Or not necessarily in that order, actually. Could be uh, murdering them and then taking their stuff. Score, got some cornflakes. Wine, hell yeah. I'm gonna burst in here and bust a cap in that guy's ass. Who said that? Who said violence is not a foregone conclusion? I'll punch you in the dick. The one they're after. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I didn't actually think I could do that. You're wow, that was a good shot, miss. Fucking tank, tank, tank. You just tripped. You just tripped. Now you're dead. Oh shit. Oh my god, I fucking massacred that guy. Oh man. Violence is not a foregone conclusion. Smack! You're dead. That was pretty, pretty gruesome. God damn. And the bitch ran off screaming. That was awful. Just awful. Alright, I need some health. I kind of just stood there in the middle and kind of whacked everybody in the face. Alright, got some health back. Murdered some innocent people. That was scarring. Um, apparently, this game is a lot, I won't say more violent, but it is more violent. Because you couldn't decapitate people by hitting them in the head in Bioshock 1 or 2. So, I uh, guess that's a new thing. You can decapitate people with a swing of your flick of your wrist. Swing of your dick. That opens right up. Let's go see if we can find this woman. And console her. Wow, that sounded very rapey. Yeah, that That's not my intention. That sounded way too rapey. <laughs> way too rapey. There's a certain amount of rapey that is appropriate, and that was way too much. Alright, back to full health. Search the desk. You dead? Oh! No, you weren't. You were alive. <laughs> Fuck! Are you dead? <laughs> what the f- Oh my god, she disappeared! Oh my god, she disappeared! Oh! Oh my god! Okay, I'm done. He, did he disappear? What is that? He, he fucking... His body disappeared. His clothes are still there. Okay then. So I'm in... I, so I murdered an innocent guy. And then I er, m murdered two innocent sleeping black people. But it's 1912, so that's okay. According to this game, I'm assuming. Because you could throw baseballs at him. Why couldn't you kill him? Ah, uh, good old-fashioned racism. What's that? Oh. Do 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 do. What are we do? How are we doing on time? Twenty minutes. That is fine. Got another good five minutes of killing the innocent people. You really have to uh, separate video game from. Uh, Real life. 
Otherwise, it's very disturbing. But, you know, you gotta realize it's not real life. It's a video game. It's not actually happening. Which way do I want to go? I'm guessing the connect. Oh, fuck! God, it scared me! Yeah, they go. let's go to the same place. Have I been here before? Oh, it's the car is this the carnival? Fuck you! Is this the carnival I was at before? No, it's a different one. Uh, switch. Give me your money. I want to buy Bruck Bucking Bronco. Die! Hey, it's Rack Ricky the Raccoon. Comstock came by the wagon at dawn. Man was just he just transfixed by my Rest trophy scout. Talking about the white ones there. I said, "Well, sir." If your quarry dwells in the jungle and beds down with the local color, why split hairs? <laughs> Not a chuckle out of him. Either he ain't seen a man go native, or maybe, maybe too many. Anyhow, now he's got me hunting down this Daisy Fitzroy. Hope we don't expect me to stuff and mount her. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was really fucking creepy. Preston E. Downs, I wonder who has Down Syndrome. Dangers on all sides! Must be a porcupine. We must be vigilant. Against the Scourge of the Vox! Stand alert for Columbia! <laughs> what a soldier. Looks like he just came up from sucking a dick. He just stood right up. Yep, that just happened. I am a hero. Sucked that penis without a second thought. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's a horse. Okay. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Mechanical horse. Why do they have real hummingbirds, but fake horses? Fuck your face. Fuck your face. I can't hit you. There you go. Alrighty. Da, da, da. Well, looks like nobody wants to be my friends. Seriously, everybody's trying to kill me now. I didn't even do anything. They attacked me. I am the innocent. Except for the, you know, those three, two black people and the one white guy. You know, whatever. They were asking for it. They were like, who the fuck sleeps in the middle of a gunfight? What the fuck is that? Just asking to be murdered. Okay, uh, uh. I guess I'm just gonna make all the videos like around 25 minutes long. It's like a good, good round number. Don't act like you're. You're acting like you're a real horse. You're not a real horse. Stop it. Stop it. You don't even have a penis, do you? No, you don't. You're not a horse. You're a fake horse. You're an ugly. Fake horse. Everyone hates you. We go this way? Oh, colors just changed. Uh, Alright, that's a good spot to stop. Headed into a new area, it looks like. Can I go this way as well? No. Okay, so there's only one way. Very linear path at the moment. That's fine. We're still getting introduced into the game, getting all our vigors and stuff. So, somewhat linear path. Um, but obviously, you can still explore everything. So, um, yeah. So, this episode had good amounts of uh, murder in it. So, yeah, I call that a success. I'm going to just sit in the bushes here. And uh, end the video. You shall know the false shepherd by his mark. That's my hand. I'm the false shepherd. Get off me. Alright, uh, that'll conclude this episode. Thanks for watching. 
and I will see you next time. Peace.